What's up guys? Um, today I'm going to be doing a review of something a little bit different than usual. Instead of running shoes, I'm going to review this Lifetime gas grill and pellet smoker. Um, if you've noticed in a few of my, or at least one of my other videos, I do very much enjoy smoking meat. And so I actually received this, this grill from Lifetime in exchange for this video. So they're not paying me in any way and they're not telling me what to say. So this will be an honest review and my honest thoughts on this grill. But I thought I'd kind of start from the beginning from the unboxing and putting it together and get to the good stuff of how the thing does uh, when it comes to smoking and grilling meat and vegetables and anything else. So I hope you guys are excited as I am because I have been using two uh, machines to smoke my meat and grill my meat. I had a, a Traeger and I had a little tiny grill that I would use to sear the meat if I needed to sear the meat. So. This is great because now I have one instead of two and it's a whole lot nicer to have the, a big grill that can actually get up to temperature instead of this old piece of crap that I had that never really got hot. But yeah, I'm super excited and let's get into this. Okay, so this is where we're at. Got all the stuff laid out. And I'm gonna clean up a little bit, put all of this in the garbage, and then we'll get to work. Well, that took me a lot longer than I thought it was gonna take. Um, I was hoping to get done in about an hour and a half. Um, that was about three hours. <clears throat> there was a lot more little pieces than I thought there would be. But I think it turned out awesome. It looks awesome. I love the stainless steel on the black. I am super impressed with the quality of it. Um, one tip that I would give when when you're putting it together is to don't do it to not do it on cement. Um, I scratched up the black a little bit when I was putting it together because it was on the cement. So either do it on the grass or um, lay down the cardboard or something. But other than that, like, it wasn't difficult. It was just time consuming. Okay, so I've had the grill now for three or four weeks. And so I've had the chance to really like use it, you know, grill a bunch of stuff on it smoke a bunch of meat um, and so I have some I have some thoughts after using it for the past couple weeks um, but honestly if you're watching this video it's probably because you found this grill and you really like it and you're looking to see if I can tell you a reason why you should get it and I'll save you the time right now just get it like it seriously works perfectly for what you are buying it for so for example, for me, I wanted to get this grill because I previously had a smoker and I had a grill. I had two different, I had a grill and a smoker to do what this one does by itself. So I assume that most people that are looking to buy this grill are looking for that, looking for one thing that can do both. And you've arrived, like this, this thing's perfect. Um, but I do wanna go over a few things and then you can decide for yourself if you're still undecided. So first off, the grill design, like it looks good. Um, there's a fair amount of storage. The wood pellet hopper is very big, so you shouldn't have any issues smoking anything on there for a long extended amount of time. Um, the functionality, it is easy to use. Like I, I am perfectly confident in having my wife come out here and smoke something or grill something on there like it it's easy to start up honestly it's just really hard to make a mistake using this grill on top of the ease of use of the grill itself you've then got the app and the app is super intuitive like and your ability to control it remotely is awesome with my previous setup with my smoker it didn't have 
the the meat probes and so I bought a Weber meat probe that connected to my phone through Bluetooth and it didn't allow me to control anything um, but it allowed me to monitor that and this you've got the the MPC probe that allows you to actually control the smoker and then you've got the other two meat probes to just monitor the smoker see how things are going um, and so this this grill has the the smart features that anyone could really want honestly like I, I don't think you even I think the the MPC probe the one that controls the smoker is like that's above and beyond I think if you, all you really need is the ability to monitor your meat uh, from your app so you don't have to come out here every time and stick the instant read thermometer in there like the ability to to monitor it is more than enough in my opinion and the MPC probe takes it to the next level and if you're interested too it does have the ability to drop all of the pellets out of the hopper if you want to switch uh, like wood pellets for different flavors and that's something that my previous smoker did not have um, the screen on the on the grill is readable even in bright sunlight like there's no issues there I think it's a really good looking display on top of all that I like the how it looks when it's up and running how it has the the smoke indicator telling you if it's like at a high smoke temperature or if you're really just cooking the meat instead of smoking it honestly the biggest pro the biggest differentiator in my opinion for this grill is its ease of cleaning so if you go around the back and you, you there's two levers that you pull in and then you pull out the drip tray and the drip tray just comes and slides right out and then you can hose it down you can take it in the house and clean it in the sink whatever you want whatever you need to do to clean it and that's super easy and then below that tray there's like a an ash collector and you could easily just stick your shop vac in there and vacuum that up or I believe I pulled up on it and it looks like it pops out. It's not as easy as the drip tray, but you don't need to clean the ashtray every time. That's gonna be something that gets cleaned, you know, once a year. But even then, it's really accessible. You could take out the, the grill grate and just stick your shop back down in there, or you could actually pull it out and kind of dump it. Um, but either way, so I think the ease of cleaning this grill sets it apart. Um, from some of its competition. The grill gets insanely hot, so hot that the first time I cooked steaks on it, I actually nuked the steaks to the point where they weren't even edible. I, I'm used to, to trying to sear steaks on a grill that doesn't get that hot, so just be aware of that. I do have one complaint, and honestly, it's not really that big of a deal, and um, it's mostly due to the fact that I have kids that um, get their hands on everything. So the little uh, protectors for the meat probes are made of like a flimsy plastic or a flimsy rubber. And my kids within a couple days had ripped the, those little protectors off and so they're gone. But outside of that, I honestly can't think of another, of any other con. So if I were to give it a rating, I'd give it a 10 out of 10. It does what it says it's going to do, and it does it perfectly. So I think it's more than worth the price, because instead of having to buy two different things, you just get one. But I hope this review helped you decide whether or not to get this grill. I don't think you'd be unhappy with the purchase, but you can compare to other grills and smokers and see what's best for you, because everyone's going to be a little bit different on what they're looking for. Um, this just fit my needs perfectly and if you're looking for a combo, I think this would fit your, I, I think this is a perfect fit.